Hello, I am Dr. Steve Lears and this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing about critical limb ischemia. Peripheral arterial disease, or PAD, is one of the most common problems encountered by vascular disease specialists. PAD affects over 8 million Americans and its prevalence is increasing as the baby boomer generation reaches the age of 50. By the age of 65, between 12 and 20 percent of the population will have some evidence of PAD. Smokers, diabetics, hypertensives, and those with elevated cholesterol are all at increased risk for PAD, and its presence is associated with increased risk of heart attack and stroke. In its earlier stages, PAD may be asymptomatic or cause only claudication, cramping of the leg muscles starting with ambulation and relieved by rest. More advanced PAD can result in critical limb ischemia, or CLI, which may lead to major amputation of the limb if not promptly addressed. Signs or symptoms of CLI almost always involve the foot and include pain at rest, non-healing ulceration, or gangrene. An open sore healing very slowly or a small black spot on the toe may both be signs of CLI. Such areas often occur after minor trauma or even trimming of toenails. CLI may be resolved by conservative management in a minority of cases, but more often an intervention is necessary to resolve the problem and heal the foot. A non-invasive Doppler ultrasound examination can establish the diagnosis, and then an angiogram is usually necessary to map the disease and plan treatment. Frequently an endovascular intervention, such as angioplasty or stenting, can be performed at the same time as the angiogram salvaging the extremity with a low risk and minimally invasive procedure. In many cases, however, an endovascular solution for CLI is not feasible, and the angiogram then furnishes the vascular surgeon with a roadmap to tra plan treatment. Surgical bypass of the extensive blockage which often causes CLI is a safe, durable treatment to relieve pain and keep the limb intact, avoiding amputation. Even if limited amputation is necessary, your vascular surgeon is trained in this area of treatment as well. Critical limb ischemia is a complex and difficult treatment problem often requiring a combination of conservative management, endovascular therapy, surgical bypass, and foot reconstruction. The vascular surgeon is the only physician trained and expert in all of these treatment modalities and should be the coordinating physician caring for this serious medical condition. This briefing is made possible by a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about vascular health careers, visit vascularweb.org.